Okay, this is the uh, second video, and uh, we're going to shoot the interior. I'll turn on some lights to help get us some, a little more light on some things. The house definitely is a, a creation of uh, the 80s when it was built, from the doors to the layout. Here's where we did the, the work so that we could uh, go back in and check for termites, which we will do. Carpet is shot. Entire house needs a coat of paint. All the linoleum needs to be changed out. There's a number of things here I don't quite understand. I'm guessing there was a alarm system at one time. We'll take all that out. Everybody uses wireless now. A lot of wires and cables in here. I'll take all that out. The ducts all need to be cleaned. You can tell by looking at them, they're pretty dirty. Someone at some point had put speakers in everywhere. And also, I don't quite know what these are. They look like up ducts which you use with uh, swamp coolers, but uh, they don't work well. You don't want them working with, uh, with air conditioning because you want a sealed system. Another speaker. And then uh, these are the old legacy type doors. Those were popular in the 80s. Nice big counter here, toilet, nice shower. Yeah, this was fairly common with the big Roman type tub. And a uh, walk in closet, cabinets are pretty much. Uh, my fungo it looks like somebody lifted them because hmm. originally those would have been a lot closer to the floor. Let's wander back out and go into the kitchen. Quite frankly, the house is in pretty decent condition considering we had uh, a tenant in here for a number of years. That's been changed out at one time, probably totally rotted out. The countertops are, you know, they're okay. They're not uh, what people put in anymore, but they're not in bad shape. And. Uh, All the doors, windows, you can really hear the traffic here. I have no idea what that is right there. Looks like some kind of a light. Once again, we have a few more speakers in here. Take a look over here. I don't know what those are at each end here. Huh. Okay. Nice high ceilings. There appears to be another up duct, if that's indeed what it is. That's all rusted out, needs to be replaced. Not uncommon. Let's take a look in here. This actually looks pretty decent. The worst part here, of course, is the fact that we had water damage from the other side and uh, caused all this to be uh, damaged and these cabinets are pretty old. We tried to get in this house a number of times to do repair work but the last tenant absolutely did not want people in the house unless he was here and he was rarely available so 
All those things should have been repaired in the past. There's another one of those ducks. Sort of strange, we've got indirect lighting here. Now what people, a couple more speakers. Now what people are doing, they, they put a uh, fan and light right in the overhead. There's two switches here. I don't know what the other one's for, but uh, that's typically what you do in these houses now. And uh, same thing here, we've got overhead lighting. Really could stand having a fan and an overhead light here. Must have been a TV there. I think that pretty much covers the entire inside. Very interesting architecture on this house. Let's go out into the laundry room. I forgot to go over here. And uh, and this house had a heat pump and we replaced it with a heat pump. I have no idea why there was a heat pump put in here because a house does have gas. But that's what happened. So tenant left behind some drywall and board and all that. I haven't checked to see if the uh, garage door opener works. Couple more speakers out here. There's your hot water heater. It's all drywalled, could stand a good coat of paint, but it is, at the very least, it is drywalled. And I'll try and see if the opener works, and it looks like it does. Oh, that top unit is really bowed. Okay. It does open, but the top panel has quite a bow to it. And that pretty much covers this, uh, this home. 